The Sharks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Here's a chance on the doorstep. He scores! Logan Couture delivers! Hey folks, uh, today is Monday, May 18th. It's 7.16 p.m. My name is James, and let's take a look and see what the market did today. Um, so I had this channel, and a lot of other people have this channel as well. Uh, so the market had a pretty good day, but you can see we hit the upper line of the little channel that it's formed, and we've stopped. That could be good or bad, because we've gotten all the way back up to the upper resistance. Um, and if the market can get going more, like today was pretty huge, but if it can get more upside, it might finally push us over that. Uh, right above that is the 200 and the 100 day moving averages. So we need momentum to get over that line and get over those averages. If we can, it'd be great. If we can't, we'll probably just fall right back into the channel and keep going up, down, up, down. So we'll see what we get. Uh, NASDAQ is still within this. Uh, sunny channel rising wedge kind of thing Still really good days across the board if you look at rust the Russell uh, I mentioned in the last video had a bull flag Well, we've broken out of that except that we've bumped up against this resistance point here um, Didn't really get sent back down or anything, but again, it's a an area. We've got to try to get over So we'll have to wait and see what happens over the next couple days with that So looking at the list uh, PGNY which I'm in um, I mentioned in the last video, I got in here, uh, it gapped up and then dropped and I bought it. I got in at 24.22, bounced off the support and has it kind of tested the support for a few days and now it's finally got a nice update. I'm happy. Uh, Lamb Research is still within its triangle, you can see there. Alibaba. So Alibaba's earnings are on Friday, but with the momentum today, it popped out. I didn't buy this. I probably won't buy anything else right now because I want to see what's going to happen with some of the COVID news and uh, this channel. I want to see that channel get broken to the upside and then maybe I'd buy. I'm not sure. I just want to be real careful. But yep, Alibaba, uh, it gapped up. So when it dipped and hit the lower line, uh, hit the, the breakout point of the triangle and then bounced off, you could buy it right there and that would have worked. And it gained pretty nicely today. MasterCard popped out of there. That one was a buy right at the open. But yep, gained pretty nice. Generac had a gap up and go. These are hard to buy, some of these gaps. Uh, I like to, I, I like the ones that would, if they're gonna gap up, come all the way back to the breakout point, because that's your technical buy. If you can get that price, you know you're buying at the right moment. These ones, these are hard. But it gapped up and went. It's a nice move. AMD, symmetrical triangle, didn't really move. Um, I think NVIDIA moved pretty well. MSCI, I think, moved. Yep. Not, not, a, not a really big move, but some of the semiconductors moved, but AMD didn't. So it's still in this triangle. XL, still in this triangle. I think I had a Roku today. Uh, the pullback here, I had, a, I had the line from way back here, and now I've just adjusted that. It still looks like it's triangling to me, which is good. Maybe we'll get a breakout on Roku. OLED is another one I had in before. Took it out, put it back, because it's still in a triangle. And uh, that's it. I'm not going to look at the VIX, because obviously on a huge day like this, it's in the toilet. It doesn't really matter. So that's it. I'll see you next time. <laughs>